Hello, Anthony Hudson with you for tonight's game between GWS Giants and Collingwood. We're live tonight at one of the great venues in the country, Giant Stadium. They've turned on the weather here in Sydney. But joining me as always is Gary Lyon. Yes, thanks, Hutto. An absolute pleasure to be here for the big game tonight. This evening's match is between the Giants and Collingwood. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banners are looking great. Collingwood, we've got a talented group in the middle. It's up to whether or not GWS Giants can match them in the centre. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp and the crowd are appreciating it. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they play today. That's true, Hutto. The captains prepare for the toss of the coin. Collingwood wins the toss. These lineups look very strong, and both teams look fired up and set to go. We prepare for what shapes as an enthralling contest here today. The game is underway. Jacob won the hit out. The ball's knocked loose, slams it on the boot, collects the loose ball. It'll be a free kick for that high tackle. Converting these opportunities could make a big difference to today's results. 60 metres out. He's enjoying that goal. To Goey with the opening goal. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. Back in the middle. Wins the ruck duel. Kelly now. Side bottom, a bit too casual with the tackle. Pendlebrick was taken high in the tackle. Moves it by foot. A chance to reload the attack now. Cuts the kick inboard. The ball mopped up. Chris, hurried kick. Soccer's a kick. There'll be a ball up in the center square. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? There's some great skills on display right now. A great match. He takes the shot. Take it well at ground level by Moore. This kick to square it up. Just sneaks in from behind. GWS Giants now only trail by five. Players move as they look to provide an option. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Davis to have the shot from outside 50. The kick will be from a 45 degree angle. He slams it towards goal. Davis has missed the lot. He's kicked it out on the full. Langdon tucks it into the pocket. Maynard marks it. Goes with the kick. Phillips marks uncontested. It's a long kick. Adam takes the mark. Puts boot to ball. Marked by Langdon. Got boot to ball. He takes the mark. Barco puts it on the boot. Takes it well. The kick from Trelaw. Thomas read it best. He's excited about that one. Yes, Hutto. Pretty happy with that one. Collingwood could have kicked the last two goals. Now they lead by 11. Slapped away. Phillips with a shorthand pass.
Rushes with the kick. A great mark taken there. Lining up on a bit of an angle here is Elliot. Move it on. Going for goal number one. Collingwood off to a good start. Deciding where to go with the kick in. Chose to kick it. Great mark under pressure. Thomas, a long way out. A 45-degree angle for this shot at goal. He decides to go for home. A drop part through the goals. Puts his second on the board. He's excited about that one. The Magpies have three in a row. A fast start by Collingwood. Guided down nicely by Grundy. Ball picked up. Hit the man hard. Wasting a lot of effort there. He's got the footy in his hands. Goes for territory. Dugowie hunting with authority. Brilliant chase. Slams it onto the boot. Barco unable to hold on. Couldn't keep the ball in play. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? It's a really good contest out there right now, and it's great to watch. Clean pick up by Mumford. Main couldn't stick the tackle. Simply outplayed his opponent. Green spears the ball. A chance to gather the ball. Gain some territory. Finding the ball was Cameron. Cameron will be the recipient of the free. Looks to move it by foot. Pushes through with power. It's a turnover. He sums up the situation and delivers. Of course, Hunter. Davis can put through his first. Pretty happy with that one. He did really well there and gets the reward. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Cornelia wins it back. He gets his hands on the footy. It's cut off by Pendlebury. The umpire will ball it up. Collingwood got behind in the clearances, but has set up well enough defensively that it hasn't made a big impact. Haynes gets the handball away. Barco finds possession. He wins possession. Hurried kick. Nice mark under pressure. Decides to kick. Marks now and can send it back. Chips it towards half forward. Finds a bit of room to mark. Here's a chance for Barco. Moves the ball by foot. Doing well to intercept that kick. Hopper going for distance with the kick. Finds it in motion. Drives it long. Gathers it now. Barco earns a free kick. Alex to kick it long. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Kicks to the square. A big contested grab. Goes short by hand. Green gives away a free for in the back. Ruffhead puts it on the boot. Barco goes for broke. He lays off the pass. Hunted down by Whitfield. Great tackle. Six sends the drop punt on its way for another goal. He celebrates hard after that. Collingwood leading by three goals. Back in the middle. Has the rucks go at it. One down. Williams just gets a boot to it. A quick handball from Moore. Gets a quick kick away. The umpire calls for a stoppage. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? This is a great game, Hutto, and we can just sit back and enjoy it. Handballs. Brings it out of the pack. One quarter down and three to go. Plenty of football still to be played. The scores are Collingwood 25, GWS Giants 7. Collingwood could come out and start it well and show them they have what it takes. The coach will be asking for more of the same for the rest of this one. Time to see if there's anything interesting in the stats. 
Collingwood are doing a great job of applying pressure and creating turnovers. It's allowing them plenty. Ready to go for the second turn. We're back in the middle now. Thrashes it. Loses control of the ball. He can take off after that handball. Finds this and marks well. Kick by Grundy. Phillips doesn't take the mark. Getting pushed out of the way was Kelly. No doubt about that. Goal scoring opportunity for Mumford. Distance no problems from here. Darts it through for another. Congratulated by his teammates. GWS Giants reduced the margin. We're back in motion. Winning it was Jacobs. Cornelio bared him off up. Put his body on the line. Adams goes with the kick. Thomas picks up the loose ball. Handball's out in front. He gains possession. Kicks hurriedly. Howe puts his body on the line. Howe throws the ball away. Davis likes his chances from there. Unable to put that one through. It's under two goals now. Looking for options now. Decides to play on. Looks up with the kick. Ends up turning this ball over. Green drives the kick. It's a foot race to get this one. Adams now heading to the bench for a break. There'll be a ball up close to goal. What can you tell us, Gaz? I'm liking what I'm seeing at the moment, Hutto. A great game of football. He has the ball. They can link up now. Just gave it away. A ball up called. Big thump from Grundy. Well picked up. Gathered by Williams. Phillips clears the congestion. Intercepted. Adams coming onto the ground. It'll be a ball up. Grundy with the punch. Will get a stoppage. Punches are clear. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. Pendlebury kicks it. Giving it off with Hopper. Just put it on the boot. He has to hold on to those. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. Chips it towards half forward. Missed the target. Fights the good fight. Releases the handball. Practicing some fancy moves. Green going for number one. Slams it home. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. They trail by less than a goal. That's a really good team guy. It's great to watch, Hutto. Plenty of excitement. Collingwood have failed to get on top of the clearance, but it's how they can turn the ball over that is allowing them to score. And we'll get a ball up. Hammers it. Sheridan with the ball. Gives the old don't argue. Williams gets on the end of this. Uses it by foot. The ball spells the three. Adams breaks the tackle. Kicks out of the congestion. Kept alive under pressure. Ward elects to kick. A good mark under the circumstances. Got boot to ball. Lloyd got under it. Wants to keep moving. Gets into some space to mark this. With quick hands, Taranto receives again. Finds the loose ball. Cornelio moves it by hand. And now they're away. He delivers with a drop pass. That will settle the nerves. Gets his first on the board. Smiles all round. GWS Giants have kicked the last three goals. They've taken the lead. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. The players will be feeling it out there. 
Jacobs gets onto the ball. Pendlebury gets the loose ball. Picks up the loose ball. Clears the congestion. A mark by Green. This is kickable by his standards. Normally a good shot on goal. Using every ounce of energy he has left. Unbelievable. And they put it through. Green love kicking that one. GWS Giants by seven points. Back with another centre bounce. Thumps it clear. Is in his possession. Dishes it off. He's got the football now. Haynes just threw it. The kick from Pendlebury. Hacking it out of there. Does well to keep it in play. Eventually, the ball goes over the line. Dugowie runs onto the field. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? I'm really enjoying this one, Hutto. Haynes puts it into space. Intervening brilliantly was Thomas. Puts it right through the middle. That's number three. He's enjoying that goal. Collingwood behind by one. We're back in the middle now. Punches are clear. Chose to kick it. Goes off the ground. Huge opportunity to grab the lead. He's kicking. Lets him down on that occasion. We're all tied up now. Unsure of their next move. Plays on from the kick in. Decides to kick. Williams marks. Manages to get a hand to it. Perryman spinning through brilliantly. Drives it out of the pack. Davis takes the mark. Uses it now. Finds himself in space and marks. Picked up under pressure. Couldn't go on with it. And the ball goes out. The boundary umpire will toss it back in. Umpire tosses it in. Swats it. They can create from this. I hope that's not serious. He looks to be in a lot of pain. Gaz, can you tell us what you saw? He's coming from the ground now, Hutto, but it didn't look great. We'll have another ball up. Thrashes it. Did well not to confuse himself. Gone! What a tackle! Coaches love to see that kind of tackling pressure. Kelly couldn't keep his hands on it. Pendlebury does well to mark. Puts it on the boot. It's a foot race to get this one. Hopper wins the foot. The loose ball picked up. Plenty to play for in the second half. At half time, it's 32 apiece. Time to see if there's anything interesting in the stats. The players will be feeling the heat right now. Much appreciated, Gaz. An exciting second half to come. See you again for the third quarter. Ready to begin proceedings in the second half. Thump clear. Takes possession. Brilliant step. A chance to reload the attack now. With a driving kick. Dugowie has it. Sinks the slipper into it. Sheridan runs after this one. Gets a handball away. Cox dishes it off. Beam going for number one. That is a stunning goal. Gets some reward for his efforts. Collingwood by a goal. That's a really good team goal. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. GWS Giants can't seem to find the footy. It's pretty simple. If they don't have the ball, they can't score. The ball ends up going to ground. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Maybe the coach needs to get on the phone to him and give him some instructions. The ball goes over the boundary in the pocket. Lots of pressure out there at the minute. Ball back into play. 
took his eyes off the ball. Crosses off the tackle. Cameron didn't mark it. Moore going for number one. He's put it through. He loved that one. Two goal lead for Collingwood. A great bit of play that resulted in that goal. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. The Magpies trail in the clearance numbers, but it's not a big issue for them because of their defence. Trelaw gathers it now. Trelaw throws the ball away. Goes with the kick. A strong pack mark. Green will kick from beyond the 50. He's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. Good mark and looks to send it back. Kicks the ball deep. Lloyd takes the mark. Normally a pretty good kick. Let's see what he can do here. Give it on. Going for goal number one. The kick connects with the post. GWS Giants close the gap to 11. Pendlebury determined to reach the ball. Haynes will be the recipient of the free. A chance here to convert for GWS Giants. He's a long way from home, but he might have the wheels. Elects to kick. Puts boot to ball. Use the hands and gives away the free. A chance to put a second goal on the board. Sensed the opportunity and was able to take it. A time to celebrate. And don't they get around Mumford. Oh, there's nothing in this now. Punched away. Fighting hard was Grundy. Marks now and can send it back. Goes by foot. A strong pack mark. Just puts it out in front. Costly mistake with the handball. Thank you, the umpire calls for it. It's a big stage of this game. Grundy thrashes it. Fends off the tackler. Is in his possession. Phillips moves it by hand. A chance for Sheridan. Ball gets cut off. Moore looks hurt. Going straight to the rooms. Doesn't look good. Maynard gains possession. Hacking it out of there. Elliott scoops it up. Clears the contest. Gathered by Kelly. Collected by Ward. 
Slams it on the boot. Lloyd takes a strong mark. Moves it by foot. Open opportunity for Mumford. Lucky to even score with that shot. GWS Giants behind by four. Sharon Burke looking to bring it back into play. Now with a low spearing kick. Good mark there. And there's the siren to end the third quarter. The scores are the Magpies 44 to GWS Giants 40. Collingwood fans will be hoping they can hold on and get a memorable victory today. Let's have a closer look at the stats. The Magpies have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on. Last quarter action, ready to go. They have to go quickly to have any chance from here. Ward on the ball. The loose ball picked up. Doing well to intercept that kick. Gets a touch to the ball. Daniels, is this the moment? He's excited about that one. They've hit the front. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. Collingwood haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. It's a very tight game right now. Thumps it clear. Taranto struggling to run at the moment. Does well to cut off the kick. He's leading the ranking points. The opposition need to get a hold of him. Keeps the kick low. He wins the ball in the air. Side bottom keeps that one low. The mark has been taken. Works it across the ground. Taranto spills it. Gets it away. Gives it, don't argue. Can already tell that's not too good. He looks injured. Gary, what do you think it is? Doesn't look good, Hutto. It's hard to see him coming back on. The kick goes out on the full from Adams. Looks up with the kick. Good mark by Taranto. Kicks it out of the back 50. Cork gets on the end of this. Gets a hand in. It bounces to the advantage of the opposition. He just throws that ball. Nice work for Green. Gets a hand to the ball. Sheridan can work it back. Manufactures a handball. Drops the ball. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Yeah, he's having a real quiet match, Hutto. Up for grabs for Green. Has it now. Intercepts the ball very well. Sharon Burke clears the danger for now. A chance to gather the ball. Just dismisses his opponent. What a fantastic goal. Look at them celebrate that effort. That's three in a row for GWS Giants. The margin is eight. Some great ball movement there. You just knew they were going to score. This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. GWS Giants have managed to rack up a big number of marks, and it's easy to see why they're leading this match. Picked off the deck. Jacobs goes off the ground. It's very tense at the moment. Swats it. This is side bottom. Going for goal number one. A great goal. They get around him after that effort. GWS Giants have four on the trot. 14 points the difference. Side bottom. Handballs out into space. Taken by Trelaw. 
Thomas with the mark. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. GWS Giants, forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Beams heads towards the goals, nails the goal. He's got a couple now, starting to get into this game. His teammates rush over. Just under two goals, the difference now. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. He did really well there and gets the reward. Back in the middle now as the rucks go at it. Jacobs got a fist to it. Keeps it moving. Green with the intercept. Kicks hurriedly. A clean pickup. Wants to keep it moving. Maynard keeps coming. Takes the mark. Manages to get a hand to it. A good job. Keeping it in play there. Eventually, the ball goes over the line. The ball is coming back into play. Mumford got a fist to it. Ball up close to the boundary. Mumford with the punch. The tackle over the shoulder. Moves the ball by foot. Scoops up the ball. Green collects the loose ball. And now we'll have a ball up. It's a big stage of this game. Dug out the loose ball. Just gets it onto the boot. Does well to keep the ball alive. No luck for him there. And it's a behind. Just under two goals, the difference now. Mumford with the responsibility of kicking it in. And the mark will be paid. Perryman moves it now. Maynard just landed in his back. Lloyd sends one up towards the wing. Cameron runs after the ball. Found a way to keep it alive. Just threw the ball. Looks to move it by foot. Doing well to intercept that kick. Barco with quick hands. Dugowie receives the ball. He just can't get out of the action. Penetrating handball. He's got the football now. He takes it across the line. Ball tossed back in. Beam thrashes it. Sockers it forward. Going for goal number one. Side bottom puts another one through. He acknowledges the crowd. This game is still alive. Hammers it. Here's side bottom. He wins possession. The ball ends up with Thomas. Spears the ball. The mark is taken by Varco. He drives it. Drops the mark. Thank you. Punches it clear. Cornelio with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. Ruffin just swats it away. The contest, no match for him. Good call, Hutto. How uses it by foot. Pendlebury looking to track down the footy. Moved on by Williams. Off hands from Moore. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Well, he hasn't had the impact we were expecting. It's somehow pitched over the line, and it's a goal. Celebrating hard. Collingwood have three in a row. They're in front. Thump clear. Takes possession. With the ball is Adams. And the umpire will ball it up. It's very tense at the moment. Ruffin won the hit out. Kelly pushes his opponent off with one hand. Good mark. And looks to send it back. Varco gets the opportunity to have a shot for goal. Testing shot outside 50. They're doing really well to chew some time off the clock here. Coughed up by Pendlebury. Dugowie has missed.
The Giants. Players devastated after a result like that. How did you see that one, Gary? It's a cruel game sometimes, Hutto, and today one side had to learn that lesson the hard way. Thanks for that, Gaz. Final scores are 10 4 64 to 9 4 58. Thanks for joining us, Gaz, but that's all we have time for. Thanks, Hutto. I've enjoyed every minute of it.